this hospital is run to provide the best patient care for every patient that comes in the door. And the medical school and the hospital work together to provide that care. I first recognized the fact of how short of breath that I had become. Here at the Wild Cornell Medical Center at New York Presbyterian Hospital, there is a large, growing senior population and quality of life is very important in that group of patients. Even though I'm 81 years old, I still like to go out and about. I have an apartment in Rome. So if I get off the plane and get in the taxi to go to the, the apartment, that's, that's it, I'm ready to go to bed. For Mrs. Offenberg, it's like uh, uh, all the patients we enroll in this particular study, that is the study to treat less invasively, to open up the aortic stenosis. Because we know that once patients develop symptoms from aortic stenosis, then the outlook for them is very bleak, and the only definitive therapy would be surgery. She wants to do, she says she can't even walk to the corner store, she's class four. Until recently, in patients who were too high risk for surgery, there were no reasonable options available. For Mrs. Offenberg, I think uh, cardiac surgery would have been a considerable challenge. The advent of this percutaneous valve is ideal for her. She's a very good candidate for it. So we were very enthusiastic to offering her this new treatment. When we first met Mrs. Offenberg, she was a lady whose quality of life is very badly affected from her aortic valve disease. And we evaluated her at a trial and thankfully she did screen positively and she was enrolled in the trial. For the past three years that we've had the trial here, we've witnessed the benefits that it's provided to a large number of patients. Any other issue about her that we should be aware of? Today I'm getting my operation and uh, of course looking forward to going home. Okay, we've got a great team here. We're going to get you all set, okay? okay. And then we'll get you comfortable and to sleep. Get that valve away. all fixed up. We're doing transapical aortic valve replacement. The mm -hmm. patient has no allergies. We're going to give antibiotics not yet. I ordered four units and they're in the room. Perfect. In the operating room, there are 20 or 30 people involved from all different departments in the hospital and from the administration of the hospital working together. That cohesiveness and that our ability to work together is why this trial so far has worked as well as it has. Ready for the valve, yeah. With the availability of the resources and equipment and personality that's redeemed these two great institutions, I think that's what they enable us to do this kind of cutting edge, highly complex procedure and result in really great clinical outcome for our patients. I'm glad to see her doing so well. I'm looking forward to every day that's coming and I'm making plans to do special things too. It feels good to be able to make a difference or help someone else, especially people her age. Very nice. We always get fantastic treatment and it's always been a terrific experience. I can rest a little bit. I can start going fishing again. Much of our reward is in seeing patients that are desperately ill come in, have an operation or procedure done, and then seeing them weeks later where they're feeling better than they felt in years. Hello. Hi. Here you are. How are you doing? How are you doing? You remember well, this guy, doing, right? Yes, I remember that man. <laughs> I have felt myself getting better day by day, week by week. That's great. And you, you've noticed that it's better than it was before the procedure? Are you kidding? Good. <laughs> great. It's like night and day. Great. To be at the leading edge and to be taking medicine to the best place it can be within New York and hopefully nationally. And this close cooperation uh, with both physicians and surgeons and all of our research personnel working together has been uh, instrumental in being, bringing this uh, remarkable therapy to, to so many patients. We will be at the forefront of a uh, paradigm shift in the care of aortic stenosis. We've had so much support from administration and from the medical school that patient population in New York can take great security and confidence that 
Our goal is to provide premier care at New York Presbyterian Hospital. I have to say I feel 100% better. Oh my God, you look gorgeous. <laughs> it's like saying you can have your life back.